Now, usually I like to, when I arrive, I like to just show it as I arrive. So you guys see it when I see it. But today my flight was just delayed, long flight. So I've already been in there, but I'm about to show you guys now. You can see my stuff in here, but this is how Dusseldorf greets me. I can't help but think 1970s, am I right? Doesn't this have a 1970s vibe? Like the decor and all that? I'm all the way up. So that's nice. what this trip is for this trip is for me to relax and recuperate and work I've been plagued with construction there's the apartment in Ibiza or the house in Ibiza or the apartment in Cullera there's construction going on everywhere so that's what these little escapes are for and uh, yeah thanks my open this so yeah just in case you guys don't know you can always have hotel management come and open this for you did you see how it opens like this just that's just, that's that's max well they can come and open it for you so that the whole uh window can open up they just have you sign a form saying that if you do jump hey you know that you were warned they're not gonna be at fault so yeah just arrived to Dusseldorf, which is Germany. I guess I haven't mentioned that. How many countries that I visit more than once? This is my second time visiting Germany. I was here uh, eight years ago. I was in Hamburg actually, which is one of my favorite cities uh, of all time. It's a top notch city. So I had to come back and see what Germany has to offer. The other one is Istanbul, Turkey. Been there three times and then Mexico, I've been there a handful of times, so. Stay tuned for the vlogs, baby. What's up, guys? I wanted to give a special shout out to the courtyard here in Dusseldorf, Seastern. You guys went above and beyond. You really did. You guys took care of me in a way that made me feel valued and appreciated. And those of you guys that know me, you guys know I'm very idiosyncratic family members, good friends. That's a word I learned from my uh, mother-in-law. She says I'm um, idiosyncratic, which she's also idiosyncratic, but I'm hyper, I'm hyper idiosyncratic. Um, little things bother me, just like little things exalt me. They make me feel great. I feel like I'm flying in the sky. So, But then the little things can also bother me. So long story short, I arrived, so many things were going wrong. Number one was the air conditioner. And I'm a type of person, I run hot. So I was promised that you could fix the air conditioner through here, right? And um, that wasn't the case. Think about, I, I got here like around 12 something after taking a taxi and all that at night. And so I didn't get much sleep. So I'm the type of person that I need to make what's right, what's wrong right, you know, in any way possible. And this is where the Lord comes in because for so many, for so throughout my entire youth, you know what I mean? Like, since I was a child to like my late 20s, everything was going wrong for me. It'd be injustice after injustice after injustice. Also, what I saw with my family, being that my parents are immigrants, injustice after injustice after injustice. And we would, we would just take it. And I would hate that as a child. I would hate it. I, I would want to fight. Man, we got to go make what's wrong right. You know what I mean? So, and that would just continue on uh, into my 20s, like I said. But then I started getting in tune with the Lord and he started working out the kinks in my character. 
And um, I started to do things differently. I started doing things the way he guides me to do them. And ever since then, I get, I get anxious because I have to do things in a way that I'm not used to doing them. And, but I do them. And things have dramatically changed for the better. For example, I gave you an example of, of the AC wall. The gentleman came here and I wanna say, this is an old building. I called it to you, you guys saw my video earlier, I said, this got a 1970s vibe. And then they said, yeah, sure enough, 1975. But he came with his ladder and everything, opened all this up here, because he said it's such an old building that this could only run on cool or on hot. So winter months, they put it obviously on hot. Summer months, they put it on cool. But like I said, I run hot. So for me, it doesn't matter if it's winter, if it's summer, I'm gonna sleep naked and with a sheet, just a little bed sheet, you know? And so um, he came and he changed it to cool. He has to go up there, switch his thing, do this, do that, so that my room is the only one that runs cool now, because everyone else, they don't mind, because they're not idiosyncratic, but I'm idiosyncratic. So shout out to, the, I want to say they're the owners, you know, I don't know. Cause he seemed like very like, uh, when he was talking about his building, this building, he seemed like he was very personal and they took my complaints very personally. My, my concerns, I will call them that better than complaints. They took them seriously and they went above and beyond. So Marriott Bonneville, you guys have good management here at um, the courtyard in Dusseldorf, Eastern. So I want to give you guys a shout out. Tell me this don't look 1970s. Oh yeah, I got the, they hooked it up with the. Look at that. Hello, Dusseldor. Hi. <laughs> Deep in Germany, the town of Dusseldor. About to take one of these to go to uh, the mall. It's called Seven. It's supposed to be one of the best malls in the world. So stay tuned.
Definitely gonna head out there. Look at that boat though. Man. I haven't seen a river boat like that. Look, that's the wanna be um Seattle Tower over there. 